All right, so I'm getting a little bit of a headache, so let's see how this goes. So I noticed one of the common searches on YouTube is for Pro Tools Session Playing Fast, and I think I might have a solution for that. Um, so what I figured today is we'd open up Pro Tools and we'd talk about how that can sometimes happen. So I just created the session. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go import something, right? So, all right, so I'm just going to pick... This is from a podcast. I am just going to, let's see, this is 44.1. Oh my gosh, that's 192. That's going to take forever. Um, that might be a good example, though, actually. Um, so what I'm going to do, all right, so this one will actually be a pretty good example if Pro Tools still operates the way it used to. Um, I actually haven't double-checked this before doing this uh, screen capture here, so we're going to see together if it still does the same thing. But um, so this is recorded at a sample rate of 192,000 hertz, so that's 192 kilohertz, so that's a really high sample rate to record at, right? So normally what I would recommend doing is either hitting copy or convert, and that then either converts or if it's the same sample rate and bit depth and everything, it'll just copy your audio file over into your audio files folder. Um, but so what I would always recommend is if you have the option of converting, you pick convert because then it's converting it to the same sample rate as your session, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do add here instead. So I hit add. Now I have this here. Um, it says add and then I'm going to hit done and it's giving me an error message, right? So it looks like this might actually work the way it used to be. Um, so basically it's telling me that it has a different sample rate and that might be an issue, right? So I'm going to hit yes. I'm going to be like, all right, let's just ignore it. Um, all right, so I'm just going to hit new track here. And here's the audio file. And to just show you guys the difference, I'm going to do command shift I again. And I'm going to pick the same exact file. So I think that's this one um, today. Oh, it just modified the file. That's interesting. Okay, well, that's fine. It's still at 192. So I'm going to hit convert here. And this is just an experiment. So we're going to see what happens here. So done. I'm going to hit OK. So now it's processing it. So it's it's basically down sampling, right? But it's, it's converting it into whatever the format is for the session. So um, we'll just let that work and see how that goes. So the idea here is that if you bring audio into your session or you import an entire session into Pro Tools and you do not convert properly when you have different sample rates, what's happening is basically sample rate is like, if you think about frame rate, it's very similar to frame rate with film, which is, you know, if you think about frame rate, that's like a flip book, right? So if you have a flip book, it's a series of still images and they're just being shown really quickly as you flip through the book. So film is kind of the same type of thing, right? They're just flipping a series of still images in front of you over and over. So with sample rate, that's how many times we're taking a sample of the actual analog audio um, and then using that sample, you know, over and over and over really quick samples back to back to then recreate that digital audio or rather to recreate the analog audio in digital form. So I hope that makes sense. My head kind of hurts today. So let me know if I didn't completely make sense and I will clarify um, in the comments with you guys or in another video or whatever. So I'm gonna hit new track. All right, so here you go. You can see the difference here. And this is a huge difference because the sample rate difference was so big, right? 192 kilohertz is very different from 44.1. And I did make the session in 44.1, so you can check that if you go to setup and then session, you can always see the bit depth and the sample rate. So I did 44 of one because it's so low and I knew that I was gonna be showing you guys this concept right now. But so basically what happened here is um, with this version, it accounted for the fact that it was in 192 kilohertz and it resampled it. And so the audio is a lot shorter. Whereas with this one, what we have is it's ignoring the sample rate and it's just plotting it out as if it was at a 44.1 sample rate, even though it wasn't. It was way more data than a 44.1 sample rate would be. So it didn't drop any samples or anything like that. It's just plotting it out like a connect the dots. Um, so that's basically why you get that.
And if any of the sample rate, like the conceptual stuff here about sample rate is a little confusing to you guys, I do have a video where I talked about sample rate. So I will put a card up on the screen for that. Um, and I would just go check that out and then hopefully it'll make more sense. But let me know if you guys want clarifications on anything. I'm happy, happy to help, happy to nerd out about it, so. All right, so this is my theory. It's hard to know, you know, on a case-to-case -case basis, there are different reasons for these things, but um, my theory is that a lot of the people that are searching um, that search term, so it was Pro Tools session playing fast, a lot of those people have something like this where they imported a whole session or they imported um, an audio, a group of audio files or an audio file, but either way they did not properly convert it and they just hit add or they just dragged it in um, and it was not properly converted and then the sample rate can change. So like in this case, I would call it playing too slow, right? Because the version that's not converted is uh, longer than it should be. But if the opposite were true, if the uh, session sample rate were bigger than the audio file sample rate, for example, which might be a common thing, I don't know. I could imagine scenarios where it would be common. So um, in that case, it would be the opposite and it would be too short and it would be playing fast, right? So it's not that your session is playing too fast necessarily, it might be how you imported the audio. And so what I would do is when you go Command Shift I, again, just to clarify, and you find your audio file, you wanna hit convert or copy. You don't want to hit add. Um, this issue is gonna pop up when you had convert as an option and you didn't hit convert. So um, I think that's about it. I'm gonna go take a break cause I'm getting a headache and hopefully I don't look like I'm about to fall apart. Um, but that's it. So yeah, I hope this helps some of you guys. I hope this helps some of you guys that are searching for that playing too fast, playing too slow issue. Um, let me know in the comments below if it helped any of you. And as usual, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you like this video, I would appreciate all of those things. And if you do want to support my channel more directly, I do have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash noise. And my patrons do get access to additional content. So I think that's about it. And I come out with new videos every Wednesday. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay.